What's up guys, Shane here from you Get 3D Printing and today I want to talk about some screwdrivers. Welcome back. So if you guys are new to the channel or if you're old, you should know this. Um, I got for Christmas a small Weha set. Well, two Weha sets. Uh, there is flathead Phillips and the ball head Allen wrenches. These are the most common sizes that are used in pretty much all electronics, especially 3D printing, which is why I got this. I print out this nifty little base for it. It holds 15 and I have 13 total uh, and actually just kind of worked out that I used black, it ran out, then I switched to red and these are red and black. Did not plan that at all but it works out really well. This sits on my desk which is right underneath where my camera sits and I use them almost daily but they're really not that great to travel with. So I decided to do some research and I went on to Banggood. Now the thing is I paid for all of these so this is not uh, sponsored by Banggood or anything else. This was what I bought. I waited a month for them to arrive. It took forever, but I'll see if it's worth the wait. Now, this is, this says it's a Weha one. Let me turn this other camera on here. Now this one says it is a Weha set. Now this is a just all-in-one little um, case for it. And it got the Red Dot Award in 2017. It tells you here on the back, actually, all of the different things it has. You're never gonna be able to see that because of this light. But it's got Phillips, Flathead, Torx, uh, the TRs, Ts, uh, Hex Heads, the U2, the 2.1, the 3 head one, and a star. But this does come in a pretty nifty little case, which I really liked about it. So this is the little case that it comes in. It says Weeha there. And all you do is you push, and the top pops open, and there's the set. It is interesting though on here, uh, on the back it says warning disconnect power before using. Um, there's no power in this, which I kind of find funny. But it's just a very small, all aluminum, even this driver handle is all aluminum. And all of the bits, are the slots are all magnetized. And I thought this would be a pretty cool little kit to have in my mobile toolkit because it doesn't, it's not powered, so I can use it anywhere. I don't have to worry about charging it. And it feels quality. I did use this on a few little things. The bits seem to be Weha quality because these things are fantastic, but only time will tell, obviously. And I kind of just wanted to share what I picked up just to see if it would be. You will guys, you guys will see this in lots and lots of upcoming videos. I'll be using this one uh, frequently to supplement this. Uh, it doesn't have, they're not in them are ball heads, but again, it does have a lot of the very common sizes that you use when working on electronics. That's one more what this one's for. But then there's this one. This is the Wow Stick 1F Plus. This is a lithium ion battery powered driver. And this one, I only opened it up to make sure it was actually in there. Actually, so I, I did find the box a little bit interesting, the way they had this layout. So it comes with this screw pad and it says, I am a screw pad. Okay, so this screw pad, let's take a look at it. I only looked at it, I did not actually pull any of this out. The screw pad, I don't know if this is magnetic, it is weighted, uh, so it has a grid on one side and then it has a bunch of the different bit heads on the other. And this says it is a 69 in one kit, so that's, Pretty impressive it is that. So again, a screw pad, I think it's magnetic. Let me find something. Yeah, that's magnetic. I can feel that. So that's cool. What else do we have in here? So we have, I'm a case. Here we have a very plasticky case for accessories, I guess. All right. Uh, I'm a dual power screwdriver. This is home tools. Oh, this is the actual driver itself. It's aluminum construction. You can see kind of the circuitry in there, forward and back. And there's a little US micro USB port right there for charging. I'm a bits group with X1. Oh, and here's the tube. Oh, does this fit in here? Yeah, okay, so the bits fit inside that case. So these are all rubber and they're all just kind of press fit in there. It tells you all here in X1 what is in there. So different size Phillips, flat heads, and a bunch of hex heads. It's all what's inside this one. Group accessories with X2. 
All right, so this one has another hex, a bunch of the T heads, P and Y heads. This is nice because these are the security torques. Those are very, very useful when working on things. And here's Bits Group X3. Uh, and this one, oh, this one has some longer bits in it. Uh, it's got the square bits, triangles, the dashed ones, a couple other ones I'm not familiar with, and another hex. So we got the three sets of bits. I'm a base. All right. So I think this is how this thing charges. It just sits in it. So the base sits like that, and I think that just goes like that. So, and that should be how it charges. There's no. Unless, does that how it charges? No, that's just how it sits there. You still got to plug it in and charge it. Oh man, that was also going to be wireless charging. And I'm a toolbox with accessories. So we have several different things in here. So we've got a very small micro USB cable, some very, very small screws, and a little glass bottle. Oh, this is the magnetize and demagnetizer. I've seen this used for some things. I don't exactly know what it's used for, but I have seen it used. I'll have to look up why they have, why we use that for. Oh, here's a little suction cup. Probably won't work too well on phones. And then here is a little um, pick that you can use for like getting up on screens. But the thing is that you can only fit, I guess you need to know which two bit head sets you, you have to have because you can only fit two in there. I would probably take, I guess, this standard and the one with all the torques in it, X1 and X2. Kind of a silly little case then because it doesn't really, I thought it was going to be a case to kind of hold everything together. It's really what I was hoping for. but. That is not the case, apparently. So I think I'll start using this on the channel, I think for building um, printers. So I actually have a live stream coming up soon that I'm going to go ahead and charge this and try to use it there and see what the torque is like. So that'll actually be, well, you guys will see that live stream before this, but you can go back and look at the, uh, what am I doing? I'm doing the TiVo Tornado Pro live build this weekend. This video won't come out to a while after that, but go back to that video and see if I use this, see how well I use it, and kind of go from there. Precision screwdriver dual power mix. I don't know, I guess maybe it was because it's forward and back. Okay, it's magnetized in there, so that's nice. Definitely gets a, a good grip on that. So yeah, I want to see if these are anything worth at all. So I think this set was I think this was less than $15, maybe 20 for this one. I think this powered one was under 30. Again, it did take like a month to get here from Banggood. But again, I wanted to try them out because there are a few on Amazon, but they're like $80, $120. Just, I can't bring myself to pay that much for something I don't know if it's gonna be any good. 30 bucks, I can spend that and kind of see I guess you could return it on Amazon, but I'm, I'm really not one of those people. I like to just buy it, and if, I, if it's crap, it's crap. If it breaks, it's different, but if I buy it, I buy it, and that's kind of go from there. Uh, this doesn't come apart at all. So yeah, um, like I, I kind of just wanted to check these out and see what they were going to be like, and I'm really going to start using these on the channel. So if you guys see them, ask me about them, and I'll make sure I put links down below where I got these if you guys want to check them out yourself and see how they work out for you. All right, so... Uh, I actually didn't publish this video when I was supposed to. It was supposed to come out like three weeks ago, but I kind of lost track of it. And I didn't really also have like the energy to edit it. But I kind of want to even update on how it actually has been working for me since uh, I have used it in a live stream when I built a recent printer. And I've been using it around the shop. Surprisingly, it doesn't do half bad. I do love the light on it. It really comes in handy when like trying to get under a printer or in the back something like like oh bam there's light that's fantastic it's actually dead right now because I haven't used it in the past like three four days but uh, it doesn't hold a charge as well as I kind of hoped it would generally after about four days to a week it dies out uh, I don't know if that's what's supposed to happen but I mean this was this was what like twenty eight or thirty eight dollars like it was pretty cheap it's not that like hundred and forty hundred and eighty dollar one I saw recently it's like holy god. 
I can't imagine spending that much. I mean, my Dewalt wasn't even that much, and that's supposed to be a cordless screwdriver. So it does pretty good. The torque on it isn't half bad. It does lock pretty well. So when you're driving something in, you can kind of just hold on the, the button going forward and give it an extra little twist. I didn't go too hard, but it definitely does it tight enough. Same thing on the reverse. Hit the reverse, if it doesn't go, try to give it a little twist and then you can definitely get out that way or you can get a bigger screwdriver and kind of give it a good crank and then use this to get the rest of the way out, especially when you're doing like those like 25 and 35, 45 millimeter long screws. This actually really, really does help out. So that's been great. Oh, I also did use this on the my clone, my Mark III S clone upgrade from the Mark III to the Mark III S. Uh, and again, worked out really good. Some of the tight spaces, I mean, you only have about an inch and a half here to kind of get it into a tight space. You can't do like you can with the Weehaws. You've got that great big four or five inches that you can really get into tight spaces. But overall, it does a pretty good job of it. Uh, it is a bit magnetic up there, so you can hold some screws on it. And again, for like $30, $35, $40, something like that, I'm really, actually really, really happy with it. It comes with an insane amount of bits. There's three of these tubes of bits and it has just been absolute great. I mean, I can literally fit this into anything. So now the, the smaller kit I have here, it works. Uh, it's not anything special. It's definitely not good for 3D printing though, because it doesn't really have any hex bits, but it does have a lot of the torques and the security torques on here. Fantastic if you're working on other electronics and it has worked well for me, but for 3D printers overall has not really been a good use. And again, this is just something that I keep in my bag as a, I need to go somewhere and fix something with somebody, or I'm just out and about and something needs fixed, small electronic. This definitely has come in use, nice aluminum uh, case, so it really doesn't gonna get hurt. I'm not gonna lose anything. Very satisfying click as they stay in there. So this has been pretty good. One thing that I am just a little bummed about is that I thought the base that comes with this was uh, for charging. It's not, it's literally just to sit the screwdriver in there. And that is one thing I'm not too happy about. I thought it could like charge when it was in there. That would have made this like, like so much better, so much better, uh, but it doesn't. You still gotta charge it via the micro USB. I kinda wish it was USB 3, just cause that's kinda the new standard now. Again, you kinda get what you pay for, and overall, this has saved my hand quite a bit recently. You will continue to see this in other live streams, other print builds, or just other general uses of me here in the shop. It has proven to be uh, quite a useful tool. So I'll do a new outro real quick. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys wanna check these out and try them out yourself, I'll put some links down below. They do also carry some of them on Amazon, but I have found it the cheapest on Banggood where I bought it from. It did take about 35 days to get to me, a little long just cause it has to go a little further for me. But if you're just in the US at regular address, I think you should have it about two to three weeks. It's really not that bad. You're saving like $100 compared to some other things. So I, I'm perfectly okay waiting that much longer to save some money. So that's just me. But if you guys, again, check it out. Link's down below. If you guys want to stay tuned what's going on, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to give you a notification when I upload new content or do any live streams. You guys will be the first ones to know what's happening. If you guys want to support me, help me fund the channel, and buy crazy things like this, consider becoming a patron. It only takes a dollar. Get access to Patreon feed and my after show. I greatly appreciate it all my uh, appreciate appreciate it and all my patreons uh, you guys are awesome you really help them a channel move along so i thank you for your support otherwise you can help out the some one-time donation links or a bunch of fill links and some discount codes we fill links for all of this stuff uh, check those out save yourself some money and i thank you guys for watching so until next time happy printing